All right, before the video gets started, I gotta ask you guys a question. How are you guys doing today? You guys doing all right? Having a bad day? Or anything like that at all? Do let me know down in the comment section below so I can try to hold a conversation with you. But other than that, let's get the video started. What's going on, guys? Light here, and you already know, you can see the title and stuff, and also you can tell it's gonna be another commentary video. But the thing about it is, is that I do plan on trying to develop the magic mage at some point actually not even some point i'm actually gonna start putting some work into it today that's kind of what i plan on trying to do before i try to like develop like the legacy to Jedi rights like even further than i want it to be because you know since it's a bigger project it's gonna be a lot harder to get something like that finished and at the same time it's like it's just generally gonna cost a lot of money so my, my buddy Cross decided to give me one simple advice that, you know, a lot of p general other people to do give to other people trying to make something in their regards is to sit there and, well, work on a smaller project first. And I was like, you know what? I've always thought about my story, The Magic Mage, which is something I've always had since like 2014. Like, no, not 2014. I think it's like a 2015, 2016 kind of thing point is and stuff i i've never really saw the story many meant to be like really long and ambitious and stuff compared to like the legacy of gemnites and like what certain kind of like uh things i kind of want to portray or whatnot or like what kind of like uh meanings or whatever i can portray within that work and the more i kept thinking about magic mage stuff is like i i could honestly start off with that since not only there's not a lot of characters within the story the story's premise as well too is not gonna be really that hard to follow and stuff especially since the story kind of focuses on magic which is the devil's mage where the story revolves around her but the interesting thing about this particular story how i want to like try to handle everything and it also depends on execution as well too is that she's actually an antagonist. We're following the story of an antagonist of my story. See, the Legacy of Geminites, we're following the protagonist more than anything, because, you know, the story kind of revolves around, well, the Geminites, so hence why it's called the Legacy of the Geminites. So, well, there's more to it than that. But the point is and stuff is that I kind of want to focus specifically on developing Magic Mage, try to get, like, the character sheets and stuff, every bit of information I need to map everything out before actually developing the story. So I already got, like, some ideas what the introduction all that kind of stuff should be like to really kind of make this story like interesting and stuff so it doesn't really necessarily follow any aspects of the main story how uh like of the legacy of Gemites. however with just magic mage it can kind of like give people more of an idea what i am capable of as a writer especially since i'm still learning a lot of other things as well too so again we can use magic mage to kind of truly test the waters and stuff so like when i do finally release the legacy of gemnites you know people are not hit with like a disappointment and speaking of which i do have chapter one volume one completed for the legacy of the gemnites not no manga or anything like that just like the script i've looked over it many times and stuff i haven't came across any issues the way it flows i think the hook is pretty good as well too upon how it starts and how it kind of ends i think it's, it's it's enough to keep people's interest in upon what's going on and such so that, that's a good thing, because I kind of wanted something to kind of show to people and stuff if they want to at least get a vague idea upon how that's about to play out. But other than that, back to the whole Magic Mage thing and stuff, it's like, yeah, I kind of want to put some work to that, try to develop this short story that may range from either 12 chapters to 24 chapters in manga standards, mind you, and just try to create something kind of fun, honestly. Also, not gonna lie, I kind of want to leave this bit in. I do kind of like more of the chill, relaxed videos and stuff. I mean, this is literally like the second one, but I've been consuming a lot of these types of videos lately. And honestly, kind of glad that we're kind of seeing a little bit more of these. You know, sometimes some edits are not bad, but like, I like consuming that kind of media because it creates more of this relatability. And it doesn't feel so like, you know, it doesn't feel oversaturated. There's more personality behind it. It doesn't feel like you're a robot, pretty much, if that makes sense. I don't really know how else to really describe it and stuff. But yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say. But do not worry. I'm still going to bring back the regular style content that everyone's used to with edits and stuff. That's not done with because, I mean, look, that's just my style. That's just me. I kind of want to put that out there. It's just, as right now, got to have to take it. things just a little bit easy and stuff like that because of things i got going on and one none that i want to be able to at least attempt to address but other than that again 
That's all I'm going to say, stuff like that in regards to the Magic Mage and stuff that I kind of want to develop that first to make sure that story is really, really good and very appealing to anybody who actually wants to, you know, look into it. And it will be a manga, by the way. It'll start off as a manga before it becomes, like, something animated. So, yeah, again, do keep that in mind and stuff. So, other that, if you guys haven't already, um, here is a little fun little thing. When I say subscribe or like the video, you will probably notice that the thing actually highlights and glows and such, which, again, that's pretty cool, honestly, if you think about it. So if you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe if you guys aren't new around here, turn on notification bells so you don't miss any new videos just like this one. And I, Light, will see you guys in my next video.